How's everybody doing? I recently was on Facebook Marketplace again. Yeah, I know. I'm a Marketplace junkie. What can I say? And I found a nice tool, um, the Milwaukee 6232-22. And uh, it's a great saw. Um, lots of companies make them. I was thinking about the Harbor Freight, uh, Hercules brand, but I happened to see this one, 160 bucks. Couldn't pass it up. Uh, drove an hour away, picked it up, everything was fine, it worked. I bought some blades for it, we'll talk about that a little later. But uh, I have a surprise for you all. You probably already saw the thumbnail, but um, the surprise is we got something in the mail today. Check it out. Spoke with my buddy David from SWAT, and I've got one of their pro model bandsaw tables. This thing is gonna be very handy in the shop. What's included is two 1 8 inch thick steel sides, one 3 16 powder coated steel top with two miter gauge slots, a manual, a sticker. They also give you a strap to hold the power switch down for a switch or pedal operation, some hardware, and this is the knob to hold the bandsaw to the table. They even threw in a hex wrench. Let's see if my existing miter gauge fits in here. Pace wax will make it better. I basically started with the sides. There are two hex bolts per side, and I used my drill to make the process a little faster. Now that we have our table assembled, we're going to make sure we have our washer and our locking cap, our Allen wrench, and our uh, set screw with the washer attached to the bottom of it. The top is going to be for the Allen wrench to set the tool. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and get our set screw in this hole here. They provide two holes, depending on which way your saw is uh, leaning, you can set it in either direction. We're gonna go ahead and raise it all the way up. Now we're gonna get our saw. I'm gonna make sure that the sliding plate here is extended. This is it not extended. This is it extended. That extended part goes underneath the table. We slide the saw in all the way. There is a little locking lip here that goes where the air vent of the tool is. Make sure that is flush to the, to the saw. The table contours to the saw, which is really nice. Everything has been engineered just perfectly in my opinion. Now we're gonna get our locking cap and feed that in, in between the two teeth of the sliding. Make sure that is nice and tight. Now it's gonna be a little bit unstable because we haven't set our locking screw yet. So we're gonna go ahead and do that until we get a little bit of resistance. Eh. Um, if your locking uh, screw extends further from the table, from the top of the table, it needs to be ground down a little bit so it doesn't interfere with your uh, cutting. So now that we have a little bit of resistance, we're gonna go ahead and tighten it a little bit and then now what you're gonna see that the tool is now very stable and it doesn't rock or teeter or um, vibrate at all. So this is how the saw is installed. And uh, man, this is a nice, it's a nice product. You guys at Swag uh, Off-Road, uh, you did an excellent job. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a machinist square and we're gonna make sure that this blade is 90 degrees to the table. Make sure it's square. So I have, um, that's incredible. It's actually perfectly square to the table right off the bat. So I just managed to set that screw at the right tightness and the saw is completely 
90 degrees to the table. The blade should be invisible because I have it parallel to the camera and the machinist square comes right to the blade there and you can see no light coming through. Of course there's no light behind but uh, from my perspective it is completely, I mean and this is a machinist square so this is very much 90 degrees and if anything moves it's the whole thing it's not the saw that is nice square to the table that's what you want I'm gonna go ahead and see much how much better it does with that the leg plate underneath that miter gauge oh yeah very nice to also see how accurate the miter slot is in regards to the blade as you can see, that is next to perfect there. Slight variance, but um, it's good enough. It's probably my how I'm set my miter. Yep, it is. Of course, you could always correct, make your correction with the miter gauge as well, but yeah, that's great. Works good. Swag was nice enough to include a strap for the power cord, which is nice. Make sure it's all the way down. And lock it in tight. There you go. That's nice. At this point, you need to be very careful because obviously the power switch is engaged. And uh, there are a lot of ways to do this, but I wanted to use a pedal. I went ahead and got me a pedal from Harbor Freight because I was impatient. I didn't want to wait. There is one that Swag sells. They also sell a multitude of accessories, including a nice uh, Incra miter gauge. Um, they have a pin, magnetic pin holder, and there's a, a lot of nice things there that make your job a lot easier. This pedal is from Harbor Freight. It's a off on. I liked the fact that I could just tap it and it'd be on and then tap it again and be off, kind of like a switch from my foot. Uh, I made this little plywood plate. I used the screw holes that came with the pedal and I just put some short screws on a piece of plywood and I got some uh, rubber grommets to uh, keep it from sliding. It works really nice and a little bit of cable management here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and test the saw out now. Got the pedal plugged in. Now we're going to go ahead and plug in the tool. It is now disengaged. Let's go ahead. And that is loud. I wanted to test this out on something really small because that's one of the reasons why I got this saw. So I got just a small little machine screw here. And I'm going to go ahead and test this out and see how nicely I could cut the head of that uh, screw off. That's going to work. What I'm going to do is take the measurements to the bottom where the legs are. We're looking at uh, 10 and 1 fourth and about 13. Got a nice piece of plywood here. This is exactly 13 and 1 fourth. We'll just keep it that way. And what did we say? 10 and a fourth. There we go. We have our base cut. We're gonna go ahead and put it underneath the saw. Center it up. This will also stabilize the saw. And uh, what this is going to be for is so that I can clamp it to my workbench. I'm just going to take some um, self tapping metal sheet metal screws. They work just as well on the wood. There we go.
Yeah, that also, um, I noticed that the feet were real sharp and it was scraping up my finish, so that's, if I happen to put it on my wooden bench, it's not gonna do that with this piece of plywood. I like that. All right, let's go ahead and give it a home on the metal bench. Let's see how good this works. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the clamps on to stabilize the table. That ain't going anywhere, solid. Well, so far I like it for now. I may change a little bit here and there, but what a great addition to the workshop. I'm very pleased. Appreciate Swag making such an awesome tool. So bottom line, do I recommend the Swag Pro table? Absolutely, without a doubt. This is going to add so much more functionality to the tool and then the whole combination is going to add a whole lot more functionality to your workshop. Um, it, the workflow is going to be incredible because there's going to be less setting up for um, your jigsaw or whatever you're using that you didn't have before to cut little pieces or even as I said big pieces the, this particular saw has a 5x5 five five, uh, square cut inside the mouth um, the table is solid I, I like the fact that you've got two miter gauges for different types of cuts um, you've got a offset screw so if you want to make it uh, you know 90 degrees square to the table um, it you know when you add the base to the bottom it makes the table uh, a lot more solid not that it was wasn't to begin with but it's just that much more solid and more stable not to mention the base allows you to clamp it to any surface like a workbench or my metal bench but i'm i'm extremely impressed i i think off uh, swag off-road for an awesome product um, in a later episode i will attempt to make something similar uh, without interfering too much with their copyright or the way that they've made this table. But I, that's another future project coming up, so stay tuned for that. I do appreciate your time in watching this. If you liked it, please give it a like and tell a friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day.